uh, a great panther, the co-convener of the Contra Costa Cat, and has made a few phone calls in her day. <laughs> is going to come up here. And Nan Brasworth, who you didn't get to see before, the president of Cara, is going to be the senior in Nantica, which is actually where she lives, and an area that we really need to get to because there's a lot of conservative seniors there. And they're going to show you what it will be like to make what will be the first call, the call of introduction, asking for permission to continue to have a conversation with them. So you can see how this will be done. All right, do you want to share this with Of course, we never talk on the phone standing up, walking around doing this. Yes, but while they're getting seated, the beauty of all of this phone calls, by the way, as I told people in the South, is that you can do this on your own time. I make calls in the morning, in the evening, on the weekends, just to try it out. And seniors aren't really on a... Uh, schedule so you can reach them. You know when you're awake and home. You can bet that probably the people you're calling are similar. And the other thing is you can do it in your pajamas or naked, as I said, if you want. I don't know, but you know the image is a little scary. But you know, okay, if that's what you want to do. Um, but you know, it's in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go anywhere. You'll call in your results of your calls to a coordinator and they'll tally them and enter them into the computer for you. All you've got to do is the call and then call your coordinator. And then you're done until the next round of calls a few weeks later. All right? So here is a sample call for you to kind of get your a sense of it. Hi, and one thing I want to say. As many calls as I've made, the first call is always, always in you get those little butterflies. And then you get over the hump with the first or second call. And by about the fifth call, you hardly look at this paper because you've digested it while your talking points are here and you want to stick to them. You almost don't need them very shortly because it's become your own. And from then on, it's just getting yourself there on a regular basis. I am so enthusiastic about this. I know, I know this has great value, really. I also know that, and I welcome Nan to play any part she wants. She can be the hostile, or the friendly, or the gullible, or whatever she chooses to play. Because that's what you get. And the ironic thing is, another thing you get, is you may get two negatives in a row. And if those two negatives are the first two, you think, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> Not true. You can get two in a row negative and then go right on and do 50 positives and never get another negative for the next 50. It's just the way the cards fall. Okay. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mary, and I'm a senior volunteer with the California Alliance for Retired Americans. Oh, wait, wait, Mary. I have to pull up my pants. I'm in the bathroom. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> take your time. <laughs> well, but like you, I'm a senior. I understand. I understand. I am not calling to sell you anything. Let's get that clear. Thank God. I'm calling the doctor. They're calling all the time. Wanting money, even. Oh. Amazing. Isn't it, though? <laughs> it's a growing number of calls. And I'm concerned because they also call and scare you sometimes. And it's not always the truth. That's why I'm calling you today. Are you worried, as I am, about some of the phone calls you're getting and the direction and tone of what they're saying? Well, yeah, they're pretty scary and they're nasty. <laughs> they're not even nice when you ask questions. I wanted to know how to plant my petunias in the sun. Right. <laughs> and they couldn't even tell you that. No, they got all the words. And, you know, they were calling about, they wanted to tell me I'm going to lose my Medicare next month. And I didn't want to talk about that. I'm only concerned today about my petunias in the sun. <laughs> oh, well, and you know your Medicare is not in danger. That oh, is. I, I don't know. They, they keep telling me it is. And, and the newspaper even. 
That's right, and that's why we're voting. We're hearing that from many people like you who are telling us that they need to talk with someone who's not selling anything or belonging to an insurance company or in some way benefiting from talking the issues. Oh, you're not self-driving to some new manager No, nothing. No, we're, we're launching a new program, an experiment, seniors talking to seniors before they vote. We've had some reports that seniors are voting against themselves because they don't understand the issues sometimes. So we think, why don't we talk about it? Does your blood pressure medicine make you all busy too? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. My blood pressure medicine just keeps me telephone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we have two big elections coming up, June and November. Oh, yes, I do. Right, well, I, I get kind of excited about that because I'm always hopeful that we will get things better. The state really is in trouble, and we need the right votes. It's not just enough to vote. We need to know how to vote in our own self-interest. So that's what we are hoping to discuss. Would it be okay if I called you every couple of weeks to see, uh, well, what you've been getting in the mail or anything you might be confused about in this election period? No, I don't mind at all. I hardly have any friends and I just almost never go out except for the doctor. And I still don't know how to plant my petunias in the sun. Well, I'm told I have a brown thumb. But I sure enjoy talking to you, and so I will be calling you back and to, in order to make you rest assured that I am a real person, not selling anything, <laughs> as a friend, I'm going to give you my phone number. Oh, good God. Because if you get a mailing that does scare you, like we just talked about, other than your petunias, <laughs> if you get a mailing like that, you can telephone me and see if I've gotten the mailing or, or if I've heard about it. And, and we can just talk a minute instead of being scared into voting against ourselves. Oh, that would be good. You sound really smart. Do you read the internet a lot? I read the internet a lot. I read a lot, period. Oh, good. And you would know these things. Well, thank you. But I sure will. My phone number is 748 Zero seven two one. Now, do you have a pencil? I'm writing it on my hand. Oh, oh you and Sarah Bailey. <laughs> 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 well, uh, get a piece of paper and I'll give you the area code because I didn't give you the area code. I'm over here. Toilet paper? <laughs> well, whatever, if you're still in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, 707 area code 7480721. And my name is Mary. Right, and so. I <laughs> knew about her. <laughs> I'll be anxious to hear about what to do with my opportunities in the sun. <laughs> and I'll be glad to call you back. Thank you. Okay.